Hello everyone! Welcome! Our topic is about catering menu program. But first of all, what is catering menu program? It includes all the types of menu. Menu for the range of meal services offered for private functions, breakfast, lunch, and dinner menus, hors d'oeuvre menus, reception menus, special function menus, a la carte menus, beverage menus, and seasonal menus. In order for a successful catering operation, um, there are six major factors to consider. First is the style of service. This determines equipment, stuffing, and food production needs. Second is the price range. This determines both the monthly forecasted catering sales volume and the anticipated annual profit. And then the third is the menu items. It's based on kitchen stuff skills and goals or objectives of management for the operation. So it is also the volume versus the quality. Additional volume but not compromising the quality of the menu. And then the fourth is the cuisine orientation. This helps determine pricing structure of menu program. And then the fifth is the food production capabilities. Identify menu items within the cuisine that can be successfully produced for catering services based on the available equipment and skills of kitchen staff. So it requires skilled um, staff to produce quality menu items in a volume and then the awareness of customer needs this is reflected in knowledge of current trends dining and eating patterns so the stability to accommodate dietary needs menu formats Menu formats are developed from menu plans used to present a series of menu items for a planned meal program in both institutional and commercial setting. The accompanying beverage program in this menu format offers appropriate wines with the appetizer, fish, meat, dessert, and cheese courses. Item selection. It should be chosen according to how well they fulfill three basic purchasing requirements. Number one, the items can be purchased in a large volumes of the required quality. In purchasing items, we always consider the expiration dates and such. In menu item selection, you can purchase a lot of volumes of goods, whether non perishable and perishable at a right quality. A right quality is a suitability of an item for the purpose it is required. The department purchaser must ensure that materials or goods are purchased from authorized or standard brand. Number two, the item should be available for purchase through normal distribution channels year-round. In purchasing items, you should only buy goods on one company to see if there are changes on the prices that will also be the basis on the price range of the cuisine. The item to be purchased must be available or prioritize the items or goods that are out of stock. Purchasing the things that are not needed will result in overstocking and capital is unnecessarily blocked and inventory carrying costs goes up. Number 3. Does the food cost fall within the desired food cost percentage? The item should be available for purchase at a price that results in an overall food cost that yields an acceptable food cost percentage. Food cost percentage is calculated by taking the cost of goods sold and dividing that by the revenue or sales generated from that finished dish. Cost of goods sold is the amount of money spent on ingredients. Styles of services American service, French service, Russian service, and buffet service. American service Main entree is prepared in the kitchen, plated, plated and covered with a plate color. The plates are then stacked on the large serving trays and served too quickly to each guest in the living room. French service, food prepared table side before serving to guests. Typically not used because it's time consuming and expensive due to need for extra stuff. 
Russian service. Each course is prepared in the kitchen and served individually to guests, most appropriate and popular. Buffet service. Some or all courses served on one or multiple stations. Some items may be present or served at the guests' tables. Less labor servers, kitchen, and utility.